Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is John Watts. If you have Great Lakes as your student loan servicing company, then there's a really good chance that you have false credit reporting right now. And we'll look a little bit at this article on Politico, and you can find it in other places as well. But basically, Great Lakes, instead of following the CARES Act, which says that there should not be any negative credit reporting uh, on your student loans. They have put things in there that say your student loan is deferred, which can have a negative impact as opposed to being current with your payments. And you are current with your payments because no payments are due. So you can't be behind if no payments are due. So let's take a look at this. So we've got... Uh, you know, starting off, uh, nearly 5 million student loan borrowers got a break on their monthly payments, have been hit with incorrect information. And so we have this Great Lakes uh, Educational Loan Services, 4.8 million federal students. And here's what has happened is, let me just highlight this paragraph here. Congress anticipated deferring those payments might blemish a credit report. And we obviously need our credit report. So they said, make sure the deferred payments were reported as on-time payments. And now this company, Great Lakes, says, oops, we had a little coding error. And we report them as being deferred. And so that can lower your credit score. And so they're saying, and who knows if this is true, that it's only two-thirds of the 7.3 million federal student loan borrowers and you got to love this, okay? I mean, this is a huge, huge mess up here. But the Department of Education, you'll be pleased to know, and Great Lakes said they're fixing the problem, so nothing to worry about. And they claim the errors resulted in little or no damage. Well, you know, trust the government, right? Because they would never say anything untrue. Trust a servicer for student loans. They would never tell you anything that's untrue. Obviously, I, I don't think much of that. And consumer advocates disagree. That can harm borrowers. And uh, so, you know, we've got the education department saying, hey, we're going to aggressively fix the problems. And, you know, here's the official statement from the Department of Education. Totally unacceptable, but it's important to understand quickly correct it and send updated credit filings to ensure as little impact as possible. And then they say uh, that there's little harm. And here's what I'd suggest to you. You may just do nothing, and maybe it will be fixed. If you trust Great Lakes, who completely messed this up, okay, if you trust them to now fix it, then do nothing. But if you don't trust them to fix it, then what I would suggest is dispute it through the credit bureaus and say this is false credit reporting. Now, I almost always recommend people doing that by certified mail, keep a signed copy, send it to Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. If you want to do it online, you can do it online, but you've got to record what you're doing. So just like I'm using ScreenFlow for a Mac, but you can use anything. There's all sorts of programs out there that will record the screen. So just like I'm doing, it's recording the screen. And just do that as you log in to file an online dispute through the credit bureau so that it's very clear exactly what you are saying in your dispute. And I would just say any report of this being in deferment, uh, anything other than I am current in my payments is false credit reporting and Great Lakes knows this and you guys know this at the credit bureau, so fix it and see what they do. And probably they will fix it. But again, when a company is messed up like this, and then they say, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We, we, we got this. We're going to fully take care of you. And besides that, it didn't even hurt you anyway. Well, how do they know that? And we won't go through all the article, but I'll put a link to the article. You know, they'll talk about, in this article and other articles, about, well, the, the predominant scoring model doesn't take into account deferment. Well, it's not just credit scoring, Okay. There's also underwriting where somebody's looking at you for a loan or looking at you for a job and they say, hey, what's that deferment? Okay. And 
it's inaccurate to say that this does not affect your credit scoring because there are dozens and dozens of different credit scoring models. And so nobody can say, oh, well, the absolutely will not affect you or it will only affect you in a small percentage of scoring model. They don't know that. So, you know, when somebody does something bad and then they go, oh, don't worry about it. I mean, it was just a little mistake. And besides that, it didn't hurt you. And there's sort of a level of arrogance or sort of uh, being condescending in, in the way this is coming out. It's kind of like the, the, they're not literally saying this, but this is kind of the impression they give is, look, we did you a favor with this CARES Act. So, you know, just be quiet and, you know, it, it, this isn't a big deal. You know, just move along, move along. Well, you know, maybe it's not a big deal in your situation, but maybe it is a big deal. And maybe it's going to be the difference between getting the best interest rate or getting a job or keeping your security clearance or anything else. So I would dispute it. And if it doesn't get fixed, then look at suing. Now, somebody's already filed a class action lawsuit. I, I don't think that's going to be the best way to handle it. You really need to dispute this through the credit bureaus first. And I doubt that that has happened. But even if it has, this type of thing, you're going to get much better results doing an individual case. Otherwise, they're going to say, hey, we fixed it and, you know, we'll, we'll give you 50 cent credit on your, your account and you give up your rights to sue. Well, if you dispute this and the credit bureaus don't fix it, and Great Lakes doesn't fix it, you have a suit not worth 50 cents or $50 or $500 or $5,000. You have a suit that's worth a good amount of money. Okay, so I would not just sit back and say, oh, well, I'll let some class action guy handle this for me. So anyway, that's my suggestion to you. just want to make you aware of this situation if you haven't seen it and uh, hope that you have good success in fixing this. And if you don't, just let me know. I'd like to know what the response is from the credit bureau. So you can always get in touch with us, 205-879-2447. That's area code 205-879-2447. Or you can contact us through our website, alabamaconsumer.com. So alabamaconsumer.com. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.